How you doing, Mr. Davis? All right. Is this how you want the microphone? Yep. Yep, that's good. Okay. Pete, you can adjust if they need it closer right. or anything. All right. Just let me know when you're ready. Good. All right, Mr. Davis, we're going to hit record. Can you hear me clearly? I can hear you. All right. All right, so so just to start, um, you, you were arrested um, and you're being charged with murder and, ar and arson. Did you do it? What do you have to say? I, I am not guilty. I, you know, I was not there at the time that the fire started. Um, I know there's been some allegations that I've admitted to it. That is wrong. I have not. Like I said, I, I didn't know about it until the detectives, the, the police arrested me. That's the first time I'd heard about it. So where were you then um, at the time the fire happened? Well, I left early that morning. Um, I, went up, I went quite a few places, but I, I had a job that I was supposed to do, and I left real early in the morning, but I had a lot of things to do. But I, I can't get into detail about everything I had to do. You know, the case is still ongoing. But, yeah, I left real early that morning, way before the fire happened started so her son Nicholas Brolin who we interviewed said you did it and showed us text messages a friend of hers says you did it and even the um, person um, who, who, who squealed on you said you did it are you saying that they're all lying well first of all they you know no one was there no one was there um, but you know me and hers had our problems and so they probably some of those you know her friends or whatever think the worst of me and think that I would do that. But that's not, that's not the truth. When um, her son shared text messages with us, right, saying uh, where well, she accused you of beating her, uh, did, did you do that? Did you, did you lay your hands on her? No, no. And, I can, and, and, I, and I'm not going to discuss, you know, past incidents here, but I'm, I'm, I'll discuss this case here. So did you ever assault her? Did you ever hit her, ever touch her? Are you saying that her son is lying and the text I'm not, messages? Like I said, I'm not going to discuss anything, you know, past incident here. I'll discuss this and this only. In terms of, well, you know, she, the, the past incidents relate to this because you're being accused of, of killing her. You know, you're being accused of being violent with her. You're being accused of, of arson and murder. Those are very serious charges. I, I realize this is a very serious charge, and I... And I you know, I've never been charged with arson or murder. So, you know, the fact is that, you know, I, I feel bad about what's happened to her. I would never want that, nothing like this to happen to her. No matter how angry I've gotten with her, I never wanted nothing like this to happen to her. When you say you've never been charged with murder and arson, but you, they did bring up the fact, court documents, that you have a lengthy criminal history, right, like in, just outside of North Dakota. You know, when people look at that, at your checkered past, should they assume that, oh, you're guilty and so proven innocent? I would, no. You know, the fact is that I'm not, I'm not guilty of this. And that's, that's the fact. You know, I would never do nothing like this. So what do you want to say to her friends and family who are on camera, on the record, who we've interviewed, or accusing you of, of her murder? I, you know, I, 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 there's nothing I can say that's going to, you know, probably secure their feelings on this, you know. Um, and anybody can, you know, you can accuse, you can think whatever you want to think, but that's not always the way it is. And in this case, it's not. So when her son shared with us this photo, right, of marks on her neck, saying that that was you. Are you saying that her, that, that that wasn't you? This is the, this is a photo of Miss Anderson, and her son shared this with us, of apparently you assaulting her. Are you saying that you never laid your hands on her before? I'm saying we we've, we've had our problems. Like I said, I'm not going to discuss these issues here. These are you know, these are past issues, and me and her moved forward from any types of issues we've had before. And, and what was your relationship at the time with her, um, at the time of, of her death yesterday? What was the relationship? We've got along great. Matter of fact, we went out the night before. We were getting along wonderful, just wonderful. Uh, it seemed like, you know, that we were both willing to 
sacrifice a little and move forward. How yeah. long have y'all been together, known each other? Well, we've, we've only dated for about, actually dated for about seven months. We, we knew each other before then, but the actual dating has been about seven months. So, oh, so, so for seven months y'all been dating? Mm -hmm. When police were called, there were incidents that police were called, apparently you were acting violent. Are you saying that that never happened when we actually have records of that? When, when the police were called where? They were responding. She called police um, claiming that, you know, there was some sort of abuse that, that you've committed towards her. Are you saying, and we have that in our story and police commented on it. Are you saying that that never happened or? Like I said, I'm not going to discuss that past. Um, we're not going to discuss, I'm not going to discuss the, any of that. Um, right now, you know, I'm focused on this. And, and this meaning like the murder and arson charges? Yes, yes. How are you fighting it? Do you have an attorney? What, what, what's going I will, on? Yes, I will be retaining it. There will be an attorney sent to act right now, no. Do you, um, what made you want to agree to speak to the media? I just, you know, I, I, I felt like, you know, that I don't know if I can prove this case. I don't know that I can. Um, there's going to be some some doubts and what ifs there, I believe. Um, the main fact that, you know, me and hers had a checkered pass, you know, before, but we were getting along great, you know. Uh, she, she, she did not want nothing, you know, to happen to me and I didn't want nothing to happen to her. Uh, fact is, we were trying to move forward. Yes, it was probably gonna be some bumps in the road and we both agreed to that, but you know, we were we were we were trying to move on. You know, um, I had no ill will with her at the time of her death. Now, it's not our job to make you, you know, guilty, right? That's the judge's job. That's a prosecutor's job. But what do you say to all the information that that we've obtained, right? Including people I told you spoke on camera. Her son spoke on camera. A friend of her spoke on camera. The person that you were staying at that um, before you got arrested, that squealed on you, we spoke to them on camera as well. What do you have to say? And they all said that you did it. Law enforcement charged you with murder and ar arson. What do you have to say to that? No, like I said, none of them was there. None of them seen me do nothing. For anybody to say I did it, it's all accusation and speculation. There's no, there's no proof to it. And the fact is, I didn't. I didn't do it. I, I wouldn't want to do it. Even if I, you know, thought that I could get away with it, I wouldn't want to do it. Just for conscience sakes. So did you love her? I did. I did love her. I did. And, uh, you know, it's... it's Right now, I'm going through a confusing time with all these charges and stuff. But yes, I loved her very much. What's confusing about it, you know, I guess? I mean, the fact that I'm here and going through this, I'm still in a state of shock. I mean, you know, my thought process hasn't run clearly since all this has happened. All I can say is, why? Why is this happening? And that's all I can do. You know, I, and it just feels so, you know, I, I, I can't explain none of it. I have no explanation for it. Why this is happening, why that's happening. Now the reality is you haven't been indicted yet, but you could be indicted for, for, for murder and arson and face life in prison. How does, how does that sink in that you can never get behind, the, you can never get out behind these walls? It doesn't sink in well. Not well at all, you know, especially for something I didn't do. I mean, if I, you know, I never would do nothing like that in the first place. I mean, but for me to, you know, be facing this and, and the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so worn out, you know, thinking about, you know, somebody died in my apartment. And that doesn't sit, that hasn't sat well with me. I haven't slept because of it. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know what I can do. 
I, I don't know what to do about it, you know. There may be some people that think that I did it because, you know, whatever their reasons. A lot of people, you know, a lot of her friends didn't like me. My, some of mine didn't like her. But the fact is, I didn't do it. So when detectives say that she didn't die through the fire, that she had a blood force trauma, that's what they believe she died of, right? And they're saying, the court documents say you were the one who caused that trauma. She didn't die because of the fire. She died because of trauma. You're saying that you never committed no, that? No, 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 no. And, you know, I, I'm sure, you know, along the road here that there will be some evidence to come out and clear me on the time periods of this. And, you know, when they told me that, that's when, you know, I, I was just confused. I'm like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand, and, and I guess, you know, trying to piece it together myself, but I can't, you know, I can't speak on everything that's going on in the case, but there's been some pieces and a little bit here and there that, you know, we've talked about. So I'm curious to know, who did do it? Because you apparently, her family says and her friends that you have a history of hitting her and it was blunt force trauma before she died. And who did it? Who do you believe did it? You have any sense You know, about nobody's it? ever seen me hit her. Nobody's ever seen me hit her. So to sit there and say that I've hit her, you know, once again, Aki, nobody's ever seen me hit her. But just because no one's seen you hit her doesn't mean you didn't do it. True, but, you know, the fact is, you know, you can sit there and speculate and she could say, because we've had our issues, you know, and there's been a lot of alcoholism and stuff like that on, on her side and, you know, I've, I've been through a lot and accepted a lot, and a lot of people told me I shouldn't go back because it's just going to be the same thing, but I did, you know. And people told her the same thing, too. But, and, and there, there's a lot more to this case that will come out eventually. And I can't, like I said, I can't speak on everything on the case. Okay, again, you know, seven months, you were together for seven months, right? Mm -hmm. You know, seven months you were together in, uh, in law enforcement and family and friends are accusing you of her murder and committing arson and just for a seven month relationship. You know, I mean, that's a little bit, that's hard to digest that after seven months, according to law enforcement, you felt compelled to commit murder. Yeah, and see, I've, I've had relationships that's gone on a lot longer than that and without anything as drastic or nearly as drastic as that when things go bad. So to sit there and say I would do this, there's a lot more to look into. A lot more. Is there anything we should look into? Like what? Well, I, at this time, I, you know, I don't know. I'd have to speak with my lawyer, you know, before I could, before I could go into any further detail. Um, I, like I said, I haven't spoke with him. I'm doing this on a free type of basis, but before I can, you know, maybe, maybe so, but at now I can't, I don't want, you know, without lawyer's advice. Well, again, you know, law enforcement is pulling up your criminal history. We know about it. It's no secret. It's out there. You know, we have photos of you apparently assaulted, have assaulted her in text messages where she admits to her son, Nicholas Berlin, that you assaulted her, right? Like those are text messages. She says it. We have records of police responding to that. Also, those are messages that she took back and said that, you know, that didn't happen, so. But you're saying you never laid your hands on her? I'm not, I'm not going to speak on any of that. Any, uh, once again, I'm not going to speak on any of our past issues. Well, you know, those past issues will come up in court. You know that, right? Well, like, all well, that comes up in court. Right. I mean, I know you've been arrested before. You know how it works. You know, these past, a prosecutor will bring it up to build their case in terms of, you know, that your history would push you to commit murder. You're saying that this never happened. You keep saying it's the past, but did it happen or not? Did you ever touch her? I'm not, once again, I'm not going to speak on nothing but this right here. Mm -hmm. On this, this arson and murder charge. That's it. You have anything to ask me? No. All right. Anything else you want us to say that we didn't get to ask you about it? No. That's. I don't think so. 
Are you, are you hoping to get out? I mean, we don't know yet what your bond is. We don't know anything about it. I mean, what, what, I mean you I'm, might never get out. I mean, what, I'm in the dark right now on what's a lot of what's going on. But as as time moves on, we'll find out more. Anything you want the public to know, like b b before we end this interview, about what happened here? I mean, now you have a family that has to plan her funeral, family and friends, and you're the one that has the face in the newspapers on TV as a person arrested for her murder. Yeah, and you know, I'm sorry. You know, I I feel bad about all that, and for me to be locked up for it is, you know, I thought the other day, I you know, I wish, you know, maybe I should have left her at the house and went to my house and maybe none of this would happen you know maybe I don't know I don't I, I don't have the answers but yeah I think about that but I mean once again I'm I'm helpless on this stuff okay. when you say I'm sorry who do you say sorry to you say sorry to her family or sorry that well, I, you know I, I feel sorry for the, the family has to go into the grief of this I mean I've endured the grief even in here and you know, with me being locked up for it, that that just adds to the pressure on me. Matter of fact, you know, sometimes I feel like I don't, I can't sit in my skin because of it. But the fact is, I didn't do it, and that you know, I don't know how I'm gonna prove that. Maybe, may, I hope that I can. You know, just because, you know, we've had problems in the past doesn't mean that I would take something to this drastic of a measure. All right. Before I let you go, your friend admitted or said that you admitted to him that you killed her. You're saying your friend is lying? Uh, yes, I am. I'd never, I would, even if I was guilty, I wouldn't do something like that. I would never admit to, you know, to somebody like him that I'd done something like that. Um, and furthermore, I didn't do nothing like that and wouldn't do nothing like that. But to sit there and say that I don't know what his agenda is or why he's saying that or not. There's some issues there, apparently. But it'll come out. All of it will come out eventually. What kind of issues? Because, I mean, he, did say, he said it on camera, too. I know. I know. I know. It'll come out later. I'm sure. So you're saying he's lying on you? Yes. Absolutely. I've never admitted to him to killing anybody. But first of all, I didn't kill her. Well, with a friend like that, who needs enemies, right? I guess so.